During this presentation, I will be discussing how the use of the ISBT-128 donation identification number and the ISBT-128 product code facilitate traceability. ISBT-128 supports traceability through the combined use of the globally unique donation identification number and a product code. This allows facilities to trace products globally from the donor to the recipient. Next, I will break down the elements of the DIN and the product code. Let's begin with the donation identification number. There are three main elements of the DIN. First is the facility identification number, or FIN. Second is the year in which the DIN is assigned. Third is the sequence number assigned. There are two additional elements, which are the flag characters and check characters. It should be noted that both are associated with the DIN, but are not actually part of the DIN itself. They are intended for process control and are not part of the unique identification of the product. The DIN itself is 13 characters long. In this example, the first five characters identify the facility that assigned the DIN, followed by the two-digit year the DIN was assigned, then a six-digit sequence number, which is assigned by the facility. You will notice that the flag characters in this example are rotated 90 degrees clockwise. This is done to make them visually different from the DIN, and the check character follows with a box around it to clearly distinguish it from the DIN. ICC BBA maintains a database that uniquely identifies all registered facilities which contributes to the traceability of the ISBT-128 standard. Each facility is assigned a unique five-character facility identification number. In the previous example, the FIN S5009 was used. This is an excerpt from the FIN database that shows that S5009 belongs to a facility in South Africa. Each product code is eight characters long. However, the structure of a product code may vary by product category. The ISBT-128 technical specification outlines the structure of the product code for each product category. For blood, the first five characters identify the product. The six indicates the collection type code, and the last two indicate the division code. For tissues, the first five characters identify the product, and the last three indicate the division code or the number of product packs. In summary, the DIN and product code facilitate traceability. The DIN allows a facility to trace products globally from the donor to the recipient. The product code allows you to uniquely identify the product. For example, while both red cells and the plasma from a single donation will have the same DIN, they will have different product codes, making each product unique. It is the combined use of the DIN and the product code that allow for products to remain traceable for a 100-year period. The expertise of ICC BBA staff is limited to the ISBT-128 standard. Users are advised to consult regulatory authorities in their own countries for information regarding regulations and authorities from voluntary accrediting organizations for information concerning standards other than ISBT-128. Regulatory requirements supersede requirements of the ISBT-128 standard. If you have any questions or comments regarding the information in this presentation or anything else ISBT-128 related, you can contact the ICC BBA Help Desk at igba at igba.org.